good day, whatever time you are watching this. So we're waiting a couple minutes. People can join. I can see people here. Yes. Good. So today is uh, December 2nd and I'll be talking about my November, what happened, what I have done, what's going on and so on. Morning, Catherine. <laughs> um, so let's start with a new pattern that was published in uh, mid-November. The name of the pattern is Crochet Scale Cow. <laughs> yeah. So um, this is it. The little piece I showed you before already, I think. And so this is looks like nice and cozy here it's a bandana style cow so you have longer front and uh, on the back it's just about um how many centimeters or inches you see here yeah <clears throat> so it's not a bulky on the back if you're wearing something uh, jacket or coat or some but it's covered here very nicely <clears throat> and if it's windy and cold you can also wear it like a bandana or like a hat like so I have my hair ponytail so it's not very convenient <laughs> but if you pull it here, it looks like little piece on your uh, head. So this is called, this is crocheted version of my knitted one, uh, knitted pattern that's called Colorful Scale Scowl. So the name of this one is just Crochet Scale Scowl. And uh, I made uh, with this yarn in this color the same like a knitted version this is knit this is crochet you see how they look together <clears throat> uh, knit version and crochet version uses um, modular technique that is what you will be working only with one small element like you see this piece it's look like a shell when you work uh, more and more elements but if you just start it it will be look like uh, one triangle so you're making one triangle then on top on or not on top, on a side of this triangle, next triangle, on the side of next triangle, one more, and so on. So you build one by one uh, these elements, and it's going like a, in a spiral at the end, and you finish with one element here, and you're done. <laughs> Yeah, it's very interesting t technique. Uh, so here is just one triangle at the end. Uh, so every time you work on the little piece and it's like you done one. <laughs> you, if you want to take a break, you take a break and then come back, we'll make one more. And then it's uh, every element is the same way made. Like you start with uh, some number of stitches and then decrease them almost till the uh, tip of your triangle. <clears throat> and the next will be built on the side 
as yes, I said, uh, I said already. And uh, depending on if you're starting, it will be side uh, side of one triangle, and then you do foundation uh, single crochet just to make little piece extra to have uh, enough stitches for the second triangle. And if you will be working already in the middle, uh, you will have one side of one triangle and uh, second side of second triangle and then connect them. So just a uh, beginning of uh, like a base for the tra each triangle will be a li little bit different depending on the um, location of this element. But working just one element at a time and you're going the same way, same way, same way. <laughs> and uh, stitch pattern is pretty simple. It's um, single crochet through the front loop only. And I added two um, pattern a uh, couple videos that I made uh, about foundation single crochet and also about uh, all single crochet like a single crochet normal way single crochet through front loop and back loop and how you can compare them to see how they work and so on just for <laughs> your information and if you want to refresh uh, how to do this so this is uh, the pattern that was published on November I think 15 it's live you can download on Ravelry yeah you can um, shoot me any messages about pattern or whatever you need to ask before you uh, grab the pattern uh, you can um, DM me on here on Instagram or send message on Ravelry. That's that's fine too. So and yeah, I'll answer any question that you have. And if you live right now, yeah, here's a, a comment. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Judy. Uh, looks good. Good job. Thank you. Um, so. <laughs> Okay, uh, just a couple more things. So this is a sample was made with a yarn uh, shopol, yeah, I think so. <laughs> shopol wolle. So I think it's a, a German company, uh, and uh, exact name uh, it's Ibus. It is cotton and wool blend, so it has little extra texture for structure, I will say, because it's uh, partially cotton here, but anyway, it's draped, yeah, you see, it's nice and soft. And one more sample I made, this one so it's not so color it's not so busy i think you will be seeing more of these uh, elements here everyone every single piece here this sample was made with uh, hand dye diva homegrown sock yeah so it's both a uh, finger <laughs> finger weight yarn <laughs> sorry uh, about 400 yards and 100, and 100 grams so this exactly is 424 yards in 100 and hand diva and boots are uh, about 400 also you can see here but anyway it's a finger weight yarn and uh, also I give in a pattern I give two sizes for you but also I'll let you know how you can customize for example by changing the yarn weight of course if you 
um, take, for example, sport weight or decay and go a um, little, little, little bit bigger hook, you will get a bigger size of the finished skull. Or if you want to use the same finger and weight, I'll give you number of stitches, how you can change for each uh, triangle, how many you need to add in a, like a, your baseline and how many rows it will be going and so on. So <laughs> you'll get two sizes. Uh, it's more like a adult small, uh, adult medium. Uh, so it's more like a snug fit for your uh, neck or a little bit uh, bigger. Or you can add some extra stitches and go bigger. <laughs> or you can change, yeah, and okay, go bigger. Okay, of course, if you want us, uh, the same for a child, you need to, instead of adding stitches, you need to subtract stitches. <clears throat> Okay, I think that's it about uh, cowl. And uh, I want to say thank you to my uh, tester. That's um, I put test call and it was pretty short deadline <laughs> because I want to publish before other deadline for other event. And my tester did a did a great job and finished and even some uh, so many people finished early and it was nice that I was able to publish on a date <laughs> that I wanted to publish, not uh, to extend extra dates. It was nice. <clears throat> and I wanted to publish this pattern before 15 because uh, I was applying for uh, a Ravelry event that it's called, let me see exactly the name, <laughs> I'm terrible with names, Indie Design Gift Along. So I'm participating as a designer, that's mean I put my design in a, together with other designers in a, like a big bundle of uh, patterns and last week if you saw my uh, post already last week was uh, sales week so everyone in uh, every pattern in this bundle it was about for I think for something thousand patterns was in this bundle <laughs> uh, 230 designers participating in this event. So it's uh, a lot of people, a lot of <laughs> designers and so. And um, to, so last week was the sales week. So all the patterns was on sale during this week, but the main part of uh, this gift along is going on till the end of December. So last day will be December 31st. <laughs> and uh, what's going on during this event? So last week, mostly people was looking for pattern, choosing pa patterns, uh, buying patterns because they were on sale. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about this later also. Uh, and right now, uh, people start making what they want to make actually <laughs> and it's called gift along that's me that means you making gifts during this time for your loved ones for anyone you wanna do handmade gifts and then um, during holiday time give to someone yeah and so uh, it's a big group on Rowley Indie Design Gift Along. <laughs> uh, I think I have a link to this uh, group in my bio or you can go to Ravelry and just um, group search group Indie Design Gift Along. So in this group people get together and you have 
I think eight different uh, knit alongs or crochet alongs. It's divided in eight categories like um, shawls, cowls and scarves, I think some baby items or uh, items for home and so on. So it's uh, eight different categories and you can participate in any one, <laughs> in each one of them or you can join like a, a one big group and you say I want to do uh, one item from each category uh, and uh, for example make a cowl, make a sock, a sock uh, make uh, baby sweater and so on and so on. So eight different things. Or uh, also this is uh, their 10th anniversary uh, of these uh, gift alongs so they're doing the 10 years already and this year you can also do 10 10 for 10 they call it I think it's 10 different items from 10 different designers so uh, you yeah you can <laughs> If you think that you can make 10 items uh, during this time, yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, of course, not everyone will be doing uh, this. Uh, they can participate and uh, they can make something. But, uh, for example, if you didn't finish the, the item, you won't you won't be uh, eligible for the prize uh, and it is a big event with, with lots of prizes and you can won win the prize if you start the project during this time and finish the project during this time till the end of December or oh, yeah and also it um, in this uh, group in the design gift along there are uh, some games that you can um, join, like I think it's called Designer Hunt, one of the uh, um, people posting clues. So <laughs> I, I looked, <laughs> I didn't participate in this. Um, pe people posting clues about uh, some patterns of some designers. For example, it can be a picture, like a, a rain, picture of rain, picture of forest, and uh, picture of uh, mittens, yeah? And you need to figure out that it's, the name of the pattern is uh, rain in a forest, it's a pattern for mittens, and you need to find, for example, this particular um, pattern and who is the designer of this pattern. This will be your answer and you can win the prizes for these games or yeah there's fun things to do during <laughs> your time when you are uh, rushing to meet your gifts but it's also just hang out with uh, people that do the same enjoy some fun activities <laughs> during this time uh, one more game also called I think um, alphabet designer alphabet soup it's also you need to unscramble some phrase or something uh, to the name of uh, some of designers so <laughs> if you know <laughs> if you do well, uh, you know how to do puzzles and uh, this kind of stuff go for it <laughs> try it <laughs> yeah that's yeah little fun things to do and yeah people enjoy it and uh, it's of course um, different threads for uh, you can chat with people for example if you do cows you can uh, ask question or yeah whatever you do or just share that you're doing this cow with this particular yarn and 
it's like a big group to chat also to share and so on um, yeah <laughs> you can go try it uh, look uh, what's going on there uh, because it's a big event and lots of people lots of designers lots of uh, patterns that you can choose from it can be overwhelmed but if you stick with something specifics, it's more like a manageable. <laughs> yeah. For example, uh, I see lots of threads in the group, but I don't go in each each one. I just uh, doing uh, cowls and I stick with this thread. It's more than enough for me. Uh, <clears throat> and just go to see these uh, games, what's going on in games <laughs> area. So. I'm, uh, my designs, uh, my patterns partic participating in this event. So that's mean if you do uh, a project using my patterns and finish project using my patterns, you'll be qualified for a prize. Um, and also I just enjoyed this event and um, just during uh, last week, I was going through uh, pattern bundles and look what I have, what I will, what I like. And it's not more like, a, because it's it was a lot of pattern, I, I told you, it's more than 4,000 4, uh, was in the bundle. I was looking like, for example, cowls, just, it was searchable. Easy, easy to search cows for example and I was looking for cows and not only favorites that I like but mostly I added to my favorites that is kind of unusual for example in technique or in colors or in um, uh, construction or something interesting to me that's uh, maybe to try something new for me for myself and I found very interesting technique uh, designer name is um, let me see exactly uh, Mary W. Martin and I chose first I chose her uh, design that's called reversible step to cowl and I made this okay this is a uh, simple straightforward I mean in a construction wise just a little tube and I used my leftover yarns from uh, socks that I made last month and published last month, <clears throat> made probably before, but published last month, not last November, last October. Um, so, and I have only less than half of skein of each color, and I used it just to try this technique and to see how it's work, how it looks like uh, needles, how it's going on. The interesting, interesting things here, you see, this is one side and this is other side. It's completely reversible. One side will be uh, one color, like a main color. For example, here is a uh, light blue, some main, main color and uh, background is darker blue and here is opposite uh, like a mine color is darker blue and uh, the ground is uh, light blue and I like it that's its look uh, I'll say if you read the pattern especially if you look at the chart you see at the first I was what's going on here <laughs> but as as you start working on it and 
after a couple rows you start understanding uh, and later it's more intuitive to for example I need to uh, move my uh, stitches right on this side and I move these stitches left on the other side and so on it's uh, as you start doing and progressing you will see the <laughs> point of this chart, let's say this way. <clears throat> yeah. It's very nice and cozy. And uh, she has it in fingering weight and also uh, at extra um, how many stitches you can uh, cast on for a DK, for worsted. So it's for different yarn weight. I made it in, with fingering weight, but I held it double, so it's more like a DK uh, weight for uh, for the number of stitches that I cast on. And the name of the yarn is um, Cascade Heritage Socks. So I made this. So, uh, socks uh, in October, so this is left over. And I wanted it bigger. <laughs> it's nice and cozy and so. But what I have left of one yard, so <laughs> it's, it wasn't too much left to go anymore. Uh, I, I wanted to at least one more repeat of uh, this, uh, but. It looks nice also in this size. Yeah, uh, almost won, not almost, uh, I won yarn chicken here, but uh, I was kind of calculating how much I have left and so on. I, I usually do when I need, I see how much a yarn he has left and so on. <clears throat> so this is my project during a uh, gift along just to participate as a crafter not as a designer in gift along and we'll see what happens <laughs> will be it's uh, will be this as a gift or will stay with me <laughs> and i didn't stop with this technique um, so the designer uh, mary w martin she calls it this technique uh, in this called fusion knitting and she also has very similar but kind of different uh, she calls it also let me see the exact name okay uh, fusion and I started to make one more cowl and this is how it looks <clears throat> so it will be a cowl but you work it flat first and then you need to some kind of connect pieces <laughs> so here uh, so with a fusion technique you work one row in one color so, and here, with Fusion Technique, you work with two colors. Here I have um, pink and gray. <clears throat> you work uh, like a background in two colors together. And then at some points, you work only with stitches using one color for example this is pink <clears throat> the but the fun part here it's two sides looks different because two sides have different uh, design elements this side it's on all pink cables and this side is zigzagging lines with uh, gray and pink so you see <coughs> oops one 
Anzeige. One second, sorry. So, uh, I will say this technique is a little bit more uh, complicated, but uh, in a way that you need to pay more attention to each and every stitch. So, which one you need to actually use one color, which you need to use second color, which stitch you need to, but here is part pretty simple, you just uh, do garter stitch and use two colors together. So, I'll be working on this cowl during this month, December, and we'll see also <laughs> what will happen with this piece. If it will be going uh, to someone, or <laughs> it will stay with me. <laughs> I don't need so many color cowls, but it looks so nice. And I also have already uh, an idea for a design using uh, this technique, fusion technique. Uh, but I'll start trying and sketching and so on only next year because right now it's <laughs> no time for this uh, extra piece to do. <clears throat> I'll finish uh, this pink and gray, then I need to finish one extra uh, project, definitely need to finish this year. and. Uh, next year um, maybe january or something i'll try to dive in my design with uh, this fusion fusion technique that's the plan <laughs> at least um yeah um so this is big rivalry, uh, gift along, what's going on with other people, what I'm doing and so on. I know also that uh, some, uh, some designers doing a different event, it's called, let me see exact the name, <laughs> Fasten of Yarn Along. <clears throat> but this event, I, I don't participate in this event, uh, but uh, this Fasten of Yarn Along is for people, mostly for people who using different um, platform to buy, to buy a pattern, no rivalry. So if, for example, designer using uh, Etsy or something other uh, places to sell, or they just their uh, website to sell uh, patterns, they participate in this uh, this event. And you, if you prefer prefer to buy a, your patterns other places, not Ravelry whatever reason is for this, for this. Um, yeah, you can look to this event, Fast and Off Yarn Along, and that's, I think they still doing their sales still. So let me see, discount period runs until end of December 8. So probably you can get some um, patterns with I don't know how, how how much of 20 or 25 percent probably 25 yeah so 20 price 25 percent off you can uh, I think it's uh, on their website you can search for also for patterns using like a, a shawl or, or socks or some uh, categories different <coughs> Just an idea to look if you off Ravelry and using other uh, other platforms to buy patterns. 
So, speaking about other platforms. Um, uh, on top of Ravelry, I using also Lovecrafts for uh, my designs. So I put in um, all patterns on Lovecrafts. But recently Lovecrafts <laughs> says <it> nicely <laughs> doesn't work very well. <laughs> if I put it as nicely. Uh, so I decide to go and check uh, what else I can use and uh, what other people using to um, it in their patterns um, online. And so I know about Etsy, but I don't want to go on Etsy. And I was asking other uh, designers what they are doing, and some of them using Payhip. Uh, so they are making like a little shop on Payhip platform to use their, to sell, sell their patterns. And last couple of days I decided to try and see how it will be user friendly <laughs> for me <laughs> as a user um, to set up a shop on a pay heap <clears throat> and it was um, kind of easy enough to look to see how everything going on in there and I decided to go at least for right now and put as extra place for my patterns on Payhip. So the name of the shop will be payhip.com slash Natalia Youngcraft. I think. <laughs> At least <laughs> I was trying to do this way. Uh, yeah. Payhip.com uh, slash Natalia Youngcraft without uh, underscore because they need only letters and uh, I did all my patterns so transfer all my patterns also to this platform and uh, also add there like a uh, different categories you can click for example only shawl and scarves only cowls because I have many of them and like um, hands and feet together because I have only one pair of socks uh, pattern for a sock and couple for uh, knits so and what else uh, home decor so it's like little different categories you can just open just one category and see what's what is there um, so just an extra <laughs> place to look around and all these links uh, to each of the pattern on Payhip uh, will be available all on my website. So on, on my website I have like a two links, Ravelry and it was before Lovecraft, now it's uh, Payhip choose whatever you prefer. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Just open one place and all patterns, just my patterns on this play, in this place. <clears throat> and so it was like I was doing this last couple of days. And during also November, I was doing also several, I was adding several blog post, posts to my website. Because when I launched in March, I think, my website, I wanted to add blog posts about each of my design. Uh, it's like a little story. Uh, 
how this design happens, why design happened, and uh, just extra info about uh, specific each of, <clears throat> of the specific designs. And maybe add some extra link links to yarn or just uh, other ideas or something something. So, uh, but because writing <laughs> isn't my strongest skill, um, I was doing it like a slow, maybe one pause, then several big nothing, and then okay. And in November, as I was preparing for indie uh, gift along, I was decided, okay, it's time finally to finish all these posts <laughs> about each of my designs. So, and right now, uh, every design, so except uh, that it's in like a collection that I have, for example, Stratus collection, it's uh, meets and headband and totally cable collection uh, head headband and uh, meets they are going in one post so all designs has uh, uh, right now their blog post and i even put this link to ravelry <laughs> and you can click this link and see about this design and only last one left this is the new uh, crochet scales because i didn't finish all the instagram post <laughs> post about it so with uh indie gift along it's like last week was totally crazy and um all, all my idea to continue post about posts about um, uh, newly published pattern was like a <laughs> uh, flew in a other direction. So and I was uh, doing posts about gift along, not uh, finishing my posts about uh, <laughs> actual my design, uh, last published design. So <clears throat> anyway. Only uh, last book, blog post left <laughs> to finish for me. Um, and then it will be like, of course, only during uh, next releases, like one uh, blog post about each design will be during lunch time of actual design, <laughs> not like an afterward, like this happened. So, but um, because when I started just publish uh, two years ago in 2020, my first design, I didn't think far ahead. I didn't plan far ahead with websites or whatever. I just published designs on Ravelry and I'm like, oh, I'm done. And now, as I have more and more designs, uh, like a portfolio, and I want to look more like a, a business that has usual websites and uh, social media uh, handle and so on, so on, so on. What was... I'm going on with this <laughs> direction. Okay, anyway. So, November was kind of more uh, computer web work for me. <laughs> Finishing what I want to finish in this uh, area. And I think I have done what I, at least for right, right now, <clears throat> I have done... Uh, uh, with a uh, website, with uh, extra shop outside of uh, Ravelry, everything on Ravelry, with uh, connection to uh, my website, and so on. And 
uh, what else? Uh, oh, YouTube also, but it's YouTube more like a uh, I'm adding little extra videos if I want to do something specific specific for each pattern. Uh, okay, I think this is more web computer side. <laughs> oh, I show you already what I'm making right now. Oh, yeah, and more about posts, <laughs> posting on Instagram. Uh, I finished two uh, stitch patterns that it's in my rubric basket what is the name of it? <laughs> I told you, I'm terrible with, name, with names uh, basket full of stitches or... yes? <clears throat> um, and this... so in November uh, the exact Hashtag for it is basket of stitch patterns. Uh, the, I did two stitches in November. Actually, last last one I did last uh, last yesterday. Uh, it was already December, but I planned it to do it in November. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> so. Couple, it was couple color work uh, for uh, stitches for color work. So this one, <coughs> uh, don't see this one, don't look for this number, it's my own thing. Uh, so this one was in uh, me, something about in the mid November. I call it three, three or one color work stitch. So because you work sometimes three stitches, sometimes uh, only one stitches in uh, contrast color. And uh, this one, it's, a, I call it gem diamond, <clears throat> because it's like a, it looks like a diamond, but it's more like a gem. <laughs> so it is 20 stitches uh, wide and only 14, I think, rows here. So, something narrow, but in this direction, <laughs> but in, uh, in number of stitches. I think it will be good for like a uh, close to the band of a sweater, or maybe something on a calf, or here near. Um, arm between arm and uh, shoulder so it's have enough stitches to go around but you don't need uh, so it will be like a small area in a uh, row wise <coughs> or you can go sideways yeah and go this direction and all your diamonds will be tall and narrow <coughs> Just for trying uh, some uh, little uh, color work uh, stitches. This is pretty simple because it's only one and three of uh, uh, contrast color. This is more, especially if you work uh, back and forth, flat knitted. So it's lots of. Uh, Loads here, but and I didn't I didn't work any extra uh, to catch these stitches, uh, these floats. I mean, so just as as it is. If it's six uh, uh, six stitches long float, it will be six stitches long float here. But of course, if you work in a garment or something, you will be catching these floats, so it's not hanging too long. Stitch basket of stitch patterns. This is a hashtag for all my uh, 
stitch patterns. And it is also on the website. And all the links you can click in bio and it's a link tree and it's like all the links there <laughs> if you need to find them. Uh, I think it's link for uh, right now it's the link for a group, Ravelry group, Indie Gift Along and uh, it's linked to my website, to YouTube, to uh, Ravelry and right now also I am adding a new link to Payhip and so on, so on, so on. So every place <laughs> you, you can find me online, yeah? Okay, uh, a little bit more about um, actual knitting or crochet. Uh, last month, uh, I think at the beginning of November or something, uh, I talked to a couple of people in the um, Russian-speaking community here in Charlotte area and they were collecting some um, items to ship to Ukraine. So, and some people was asking maybe we can do some to, to need or crochet some uh, warm items like hats or scarves or whatever. And I was looking in my drawer <laughs> and think that I have a couple items, couple items <laughs> to donate. <clears throat> and uh, so I choose some uh, hats and it, I think it was also a couple cowls or, and so on. And as we uh, met together, we also, it was like a small meeting in uh, uh, Panera Bread. So, and we chit chat and also, also we brought some uh, yarn and needles and hooks and so and we also knit and crochet during this meeting and I'm, I made one hat I just snap a picture and it was right away was going to this donation pile and then later at home I start making more hats <laughs> because uh, so I did already so many times hats to donate to different places. So it's like my hands know <laughs> what to do. <laughs> I'll show what I made extra for next time for next shipping. <clears throat> so this was crochet hat. This is crochet hat. Uh, so again, I was using leftovers yarn from different projects. So this is dark brown and some kind of top or some um, simple double crochet starting from uh, crown in increasing, and then I add some extra fun stuff with uh, color like a just simple stripe, and here is stripe like. Uh, I think it's in a back loop or I can't even remember but probably in a back loop uh, no it's in a front loop okay <clears throat> anyway just a more like a probably 10 to 12 years old kit uh, this was her shape head and then I had a big skein of, um, I think I love yarn from Hobby Lobby <clears throat> and I start making these hats, just adding extra color for the fun. So, and this is simple ribbing, two by two. Uh, one color and then for the extra color contrast color i switch from uh, switch direction so here for example dark color you see 
uh, neat pearl, neat pearl, and then with lighter color, color I start, started with pearl, and then neat pearl, and then neat, and then go back with uh, darker color again, neat pearl, neat pearl, and then so on. So it's switching. <laughs> Simple, and I like it because it's really uh, two by two rib. Yeah, it's pretty big range of sizes you can fit hat from I think probably from 5 to 10 maybe even older kit so it was for the kids so I made 1, 2, 3, 4 of this the same same way only one I have already tiny tiny piece left of uh, light blue and instead of I think it was here four rows and here I only did three rows so just a couple rows or shorter but anyway four of these <clears throat> and leftover for uh, from the dark darker blue it wasn't enough for whole head so I started with one and finished with uh, just uh, five and I, I think this is a little bit smaller size also but the same uh, two by two and I here I continue the same way uh, lighter color the same needs over needs of darker just plain living and <clears throat> little tip for stripes in uh, ribbing you see you don't see here see here uh, pearl bumps of the other color yeah if you go neat pearl in the first row of second color over the previous color you will see here these bumps of uh, the color and here I did first row of the lighter color just knits and then continue in in a ribbing need to need to pearl to and so on and the same here switching from the next to the next color again first row only knits and then uh, need to pearl to and so on so and you don't see any pearl bumps of the other color in the ribbing so one had this one and the leftover of uh, the leftover of white <laughs> was coming to this cat <laughs> and tiny tiny leftover of uh, dark blue and tiny tiny leftover from it so Leftover from this one is this stripe. Leftover from this one is this stripe. So when I say that I'm using my yarn up to last inch, I'm meaning this up to last inch. <laughs> yeah. And even for one head, I think was... Yeah, with this uh, blue... I think or I uh, know this one this stripe little <laughs> extra uh, last stripe so I had only so how many rows here one two three uh, I was thinking that I will be have enough yarn for three rows but as I was finishing it was like a two and a half of this um, dark blue I was oh, going just two rows will look more like a hmm, why it's here okay I need to finish this third row so I did go back to one of these heads <laughs> unravel couple rows here so added third completely row here and finish one of these heads just um, uh, one row left uh, less as it was before <laughs> it was more more um, 
uh, work to find the ends because I already finished and claimed the ends here. And uh, so, but here it's what I wanted here. <laughs> so, uh, as I said, if I go yarn up to the last inch, I go yarn up to the last inch. <coughs> So, how many? Five, six ribbed uh, in the ribbing, one is crocheting, and um, a weekend before Thanksgiving, we were going to a tournament in uh, Charleston with of my, uh, one of my boys for a soccer tournament. And I was okay. I need to have something small with me, and of course, I decided to go for one one more hat, and I made this one. This is actually my pattern. That's called a uh, down the row hat. It's knitted hat, but it's knitted from the top down. So you start here. Uh, casting on just a few stitches and then increasing and then going this way <clears throat> and I wrote this pattern so you can use uh, you can make hat as long as you want actually so for example this is more like a um, hat with small double brim yeah you fold it only here little bit if you go longer here you can do a big fold here or you can do more like a slouchy style like a kind of in between folded and just normal penny <clears throat> so the choice is how long it can be it's yours and uh, usually I do top down uh, when I have kind of partial skein of yarn and don't know how long I can go, <laughs> how long I, I can make the hat. So starting here and then just going whatever, how much yarn I have, just left a little bit for uh, binding off and you're good to go. And then you decide how long will be your brim. Yeah. 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 So uh, I don't know about this exactly head. If you stay with my boys, or it will be go also to a donation pile. <coughs> we'll see. I need to uh, block it. So this was actually was <laughs> knitting part, knitting and crocheting part on top of my other. Uh, work uh, and so let me see that's what I was doing and if I talk okay I did about I talk about uh, last published pattern I did about gift along about blog post and pay heap okay last but not least so <clears throat> uh, I am I, I made a new form I think it's called for us subscribers so you can subscribe to my newsletters and to thank you to my <laughs> subscriber I'm saying I will be sending a file that is downloadable file and you can print at home and this is two pages of um, gift tags so I uh, one page is uh, uh, just in black and white but I printed on uh, for example, here it's on a craft paper and one page, full page, but I already start cutting mine um, in uh, color 
and it's more let me show you closer this is more um christmas style so with lots of christmas motifs and the name you probably see it's opposite uh the wording on the gift tag is hand handmade with love and yarn so if you are making your gifts hand needed hand crochet gifts for everyone on your list uh, <laughs> so you can download this file print at home cut it uh, punch some hole and so just wrap it around your gift or you can also hang it on a give it back so it will be easy it just little thank you for my new subscribers but if you already subscribe to my email list I already send it to you <laughs> this file <laughs> you should be you should have this in your mailbox already <clears throat> so yeah two options uh, colored option then black uh, black and white option and this is option for uh, Christmas this is option for like just holidays or even not holidays just uh, birthday or some something just handmade with uh, love and uh, yarn and for example here i printed on a like a cardstock it's pretty sturdy and it's nice to cut it and for this i used craft paper but um, you know when you buy a wrapping paper and in the middle here for example in the middle it's uh, like a little tube of this uh, paper so I straight it a little bit cut it in a, a letter size like a size of document it you can print actually and home print the printer so and yeah this is what happened here <laughs> no need to buy extra craft paper because you will have this paper in your wrapping paper <laughs> just a tip for you <clears throat> so and uh, my new subscriber form is of course on my in my links in a bio uh, okay I think oh yeah last thing so I also added this uh, pat um, not pattern uh, this PDF file you can download for a small fee on my in my pay hip store so in a pay hip store also there is some options uh, so for example if you want uh, to support someone and you can buy a specific item but you can choose your uh, how much you will pay so for example for some designs I, uh, I put a minimum and you can you can see a little plus uh, for example it will be five plus that means you can uh, pay minimum five or you can choose uh, to support ex uh, give uh, extra support and buy for six <laughs> or whatever <laughs> yeah so this file pdf file will be on my uh he in my pay, pay hip store with uh, this kind of option it's like a you can get it for free or you can buy it and support my other work uh, designing and all this stuff so <laughs> thank you 
for listening. I think that's enough for today and I was going on over an hour surprise <laughs> for me, for myself also. That's I can go so long <laughs> talking and showing you what I'm doing and uh, what I have done and so on so on. <clears throat> Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, there is extra place to leave comment or if you will be uh, listening it later, it will be on my grid, of course, and it will be on uh, YouTube also later on, maybe the same day, maybe later. <laughs> okay. Uh, because this is already December and I probably won't be doing live till the next uh, year. So happy holidays, what you celebrate. Uh, happy holidays, happy new year. Uh, hope you <laughs> will enjoy this holiday time with your family, with friends and will be uh, doing some gifts during this December and uh, receiving gifts will be surprise, surprise and nice to uh, get some handmade gifts from other others, yeah. <laughs> Especially for us crafters when we doing and making and uh, doing for others, it's so nice to get for ourselves. That's also handmade. Yep, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> okay, anyway, thank you. See you next year. And yeah, all the links, as I already said, in, will be in my bio. Bye bye.